Today our presentation is going to solve two case problems. My name is Lubin and my student ID is MYE3017. Next partner. Hi, this is Jasbir Kumar Bhagania. My student ID is BIC3032. And now I'm going to, uh, going to call my next group member, Stephen. <coughs> Hi, I'm John Stefan Gabriel and my student ID is DY31283. And lastly, Hi, this is Randeep Singh Song, and my student ID is AGG3010. Now I would like to call Lubin to continue with the presentation. Thank you. Okay, now we divided our presentation into two parts. Each part has different case. Uh, Jess and I will discuss the first case, and then Randy and Stefan will discuss the second case. Now, uh, case 1, Part A, Discharge of Contract. Question 1, Advise a land of his legal position. We know in order to establish a contract, there must be an in agreement which can be enforceable by law. Parties to the contract must discharge their obligation according to the agreement to discharge the contract. Any of the party fails to perform his or her obligation. The suffering party has the right to sue against the dead party. In this case, Jeff did not perform his obligation as per the agreement since he delivered the material one month late, which really affects a land's plan about construction of building, even though a land accepted the delivery. But a land has the legal right to sue against Jeff for the late delivery of the materials. Therefore, the contract was breached by Jeff who did not perform his obligation in time, which is known as anticipatory breach of contract. In general, a land can sue against Jeff for the later delivery of materials that causes damages for not completing the main contract of building granny flat within four months. Now welcome my partner Jess. Hi, this is Jess B and now I'm going to explain the second uh, question uh, John's advice so in this uh, issue whether John a take legal action against Alan and the second thing is, that, is the case uh, against the wage using the British Steel Corporation clean band bridge and engineering company uh, and uh, there are action against Alan by not completing John's granny house so in this case there are the four damages could be claimed against this case Number one is the nominal damages. Uh, John can't claim these damages because he does not have evidence of estimated loss. And number two is expected damages. Expected damages, John can argue to recover the amount 15,000 given to Alan, but it's also depend on court decision. Number three is uh, alliance damages. So in this one, in this case, the court can award John to recover the expenditure money he wasted because of the Allen breach of contract. Number four is the restitutional damages. And the restitution damages, John can also get the uh, restitution damage as contract considered being enforceable and benefits given to Allen. And in this, uh, in conclusion is the uh, anticipatory breach of contract provide John a right to terminate the contract. So now I'm going to call my next group member, Stephen. He will going to explain his part. Thank you. I would like to introduce the part B, the statutory and common law position of the directors. In, in this, I would like to introduce three sections, which is what, section 180, 181, and 182. I would like to briefly explain that the board of directors of a company has responsibilities and duties to safeguard the best interests of the company and, and their stakeholders. So in that process, they must discharge their duties and responsibilities in a fair and ethical way. Section 180, Care and Diligence. According to this act, a director of a firm must perform their power and discharge their duties to take care of their business in a proper manner and effort to protect the interests of the company and stakeholders. Mikhail and Zaviad are working directors and they are responsible for managing the daily operations of Barista Builder Private Limited, the company involved in all matters of home and building. 
Board directors have breached this section that did not properly discharge their duties, even though they have a good hold and experience in the company and fail to take care of the business without diligence. Secondly, duty to act in good faith. A director of a company must conduct duties and execute their power in good faith to protect the company's best interests. Best interest. Vesna breached this section for not executing her duties and power in good faith because she's a relative of Doug and all directors of the company are not aware of that. And second thing is that she convinced the other directors to enter into contract with Doug. And also she collected all the quote for this contract which all the above quote designer private limited. Finally, section 182, user position. With this act, a director, secretary or any other officer must use their position for proper purpose and not use their published position for personal gain. Vesna and Lich clearly involved in using their position for personal gain. As an employee holds an accountant role and also a director of a company and use this position to sign a contract with another building company called Can We Fix That? The final two act will be talked by Randeep Singh Song. Hi, I would like to explain insolvent trading first. Insolvent trading is the law under Corporations Act Section 588G that says if a company is insolvent and a director allows the company to incur a new debt, then the director can be personally liable for the new debts incurred. In this case, we see that all the directors are indulged in are indulged in trading with other parties while insolvent. Discharge of duty for proper purpose. Section 181, subsection 1 of the Act provides that a director or other officer of a corporation must exercise their powers and discharge their duties in good faith in the best interest of the corporations and for a proper purpose. In this case, we see that none of the directors have performed their duty. Finally, I would like to conclude this case by saying that according to statutory duty under certain circumstances, directors held responsible for debt incurred by the company. According to common law, directors are having fiduciary duty and hence they are not responsible for the company's debts. Thank you.